So this is going to be a quick review of the Vortex Razor HD 4000 um, GB uh, rangefinder. Um, and that's a kind of a mouthful. Um, this is actually the case that it, Vortex includes. But um, what I kind of want to talk about with this, and I'm going to do my best not to make this long because there's there's actually a lot of information um about this particular model that I could talk about, but I don't want to make this video ridiculously long. Um, <clears throat> so for starters, uh, Vortex offers two versions of the HD 4000 uh, rangefinder. They have this version, which is the GB version, and then they have the standard uh, Razor HD 4000 version. Um, <clears throat> the standard version the, does not have the onboard um, geoballistics uh, application integrated into it, and, and that's that makes a big difference. And it, and I'll kind of as I talk about it, you'll kind of start to see kind of how and why. So um, <clears throat> the 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 GB name uh, the GB that's in this the name of this uh, is uh, stands for geoballistics. Uh, Geoballistics uh, is a mobile ballistic calculator software that's actually now owned by Vortex, um, and they they have integrated it, um, the ability to connect this particular model uh, to that Geoballistics uh, app, and it's an app you download on your phone, and unfortunately, I can't show you mine because I'm recording this on my phone and the phone I use also has my GB app on it. So I can't unfortunately show you mine as well. But once I talk about it, you'll sort of get the idea. Um, the Geoballistics uh, is they have a free version that you download uh, on your phone and it will support one rifle profile. The paid version is going to be required if you're going to do uh, multiple rifle profiles. And basically what a rifle profile is, is it is one, it's, it's a single rifle. So one rifle per profile. So if you have three rifles you want to, you want to use with this particular platform, you're going to need, uh, a plan with three profiles. Um, <clears throat> so just kind of going over the, the sort of features on this. So this um, this unit has a maximum effect, effective laser range difference of 4,000 yards, but but that's on highly reflective objects. Um, for deer size objects, it's more like 2,000 to 2,200 yards, and then for trees and more narrow items, it, it's around uh 2500 yards um so th the point in that is it's not 4000 yards to see where you can range a mule deer at 4000 yards it's not gonna it won't do that um it'll do about 2200 yards for a deer size target 22 to 2000 um it's a 7x magnification uh of course it's a fixed magnification, so uh, as all range finders are, um, it does have a uh, diopter focus right here. So when you put it up to your eye, if what you're looking at is out of focus, you can turn this. Um, this is the button that activates the laser and sends it out, and then it and then it it shows up on the display inside here what the distance is. Um, this is the menu button where you can access the onboard menu. And then this is a, believe it or not, it's a button to, uh, to help read wind. Um, this unit actually has, um, some onboard weather sensors, uh, which you can use without the, the geo data, the, sorry, the geo ballistic app, uh, or the geo ballistic app also will integrate with a lot of the Kestrel products, if you know what those are, um, which are basically wind meters and things like that. Um, I have mine set up where it just 
it just uses the, I don't have it connected to a Kestrel. It, it just uses the onboard sensor, which can do, um, wind speed, wind direction, humidity, temperature. Um, it, it, it can actually pull all that data in, uh, on its own, but, um, the, uh, the, the onboard, it's got a little mini computer on it, basically, uh, which will integrate with geoballistics and basically give you almost like a custom firing solution based on your, um, load data, you know, things like bullet weight, uh, um, VC, uh, bullet speed, um, things like that. And you, you put all that data into the geoballistics, uh, and attack and, and basically sync it to it and it'll give you a custom firing solution. So you basically, um, once you have it set up, you range it and, and it will indicate based on your setup, uh, how to adjust for either mills or MRADs, whatever you want to use, um, on the scope to compensate for the drop. Um, it, it's not, um, terribly, uh, complicated once you, once you sort of figure it out. But if you're new to long range and you don't shoot a lot of long distance, it, it may be a little overwhelming at first. But once you learn the system, it's a, it's a fairly, um, it's a, it's a fairly straightforward process. Um, I, uh, have had this unit right here for probably two years. This, again, this is the GB unit. Um, I've been extremely pleased with it. Um, I like it because uh, it will function on its own without any third party uh, integration if you want to, or it has the option to integrate with third party platforms and or devices, which is neat. Um, and it's got a fairly, you know, decent uh, internal onboard display when you put it up to your eye. Unfortunately, I can't really show you um because i don't think you'd be able to see it through the it just would be too difficult to see but um um if you were if you were thinking about uh you know you wanted kind of an all-in-one solution type of rangefinder that would help you with long distance or long distance hunting um this might be one to look at it it will do a lot and i probably have to be honest with you i probably am using it to about probably 50% of what its real capability is, uh, to be honest, because there are features that I haven't even taken advantage of. Um, but, uh, like I said, if you were looking for something that's, uh, uh, a, you know, a, a, an all in one solution, um, then this, you know, this might be something to look at. Um, I have found the geoballistics to be, um, very accurate as long as you do your part and provide the correct data to it. Um, I have, I have found it to be extremely accurate. Um, this unit itself is waterproof, shockproof, um, and it's got some interesting features on it. Like it comes with this utility clip and it also has a spot here for a lanyard. Uh, the battery goes right in there. The battery on it is a, um, just kind of a standard CR2 lithium battery. It comes with a battery, by the way. Um, and you can get a decent amount of, um, of use out of the battery. I, I, I want to say I, the Vortex literature says you can get around 4,000 ranges where you, you know, activate the distance, the ranging feature about 4,000 times, um, uh, before the battery goes dead. And it does have a, uh, a low battery indicator to let you know if there's an issue, um, and it's on the, on the display. Um, trying to think of what else would be, you guys might find interesting about it. Um, I think that's about it. Um, but it's a dirt, it's a fairly durable unit. Oh, um, obviously it's made by Vortex. It's covered under their fantastic warranty, which is a lifetime warranty, which is nice. I mean, if, you have a problem with this. You, one nice thing about Vortex is they stand behind their stuff. But um, 
this case, like I said, case comes with it. Um, and then it, it integrates with the geoballistics, which is also owned by Vortex. But, um, uh, I have not been disappointed so far. I've, I've got, uh, I've got it set up with, uh, four profiles for four different rifles, uh, for four different kind of uses. And so far I've been, I've been very pleased with it. 